Hi everyone and welcome to our next video. We're going to take a look at something new in digital logic. We're going to take a look at a JK flip-flop and how we can use it in digital logic design. You can find it in CircuitVerse if you go underneath sequential elements and you go over here you can find the JK flip-flop and bring that into your workspace and you can try the following. First let's take a look at the truth table. The truth table is over here on the right hand side and the first thing to notice is the output only changes on the rising edge of the clock. So it doesn't matter if you change J and K, it will only change in the output right at the time where it sees a rising clock edge. So keep that in mind as you work with this device. You can see here that if the input and the input J and the input K are both low, on the rising edge of the clock there will be no change on Q the output if J is high and K is low on the rising edge of the clock it will produce a output of 1 on Q if J is low and K is high on the rising edge of the clock it will produce a low on the output and if J is high and K is high on the rising edge of the clock the output will simply change it's what we call putting the JK flip-flop in toggle mode so if both inputs are tied high and on each rising edge of the clock you will see the output change from low to high or high to low so that is called toggle mode here's our device here and here's our j and k input and we're going to use the push button in circuit verse to simulate the rising edge of the clock it also does have an enable feature. We can enable or disable this device if we wish. We've got it tied high, so it is enabling the device. It also does have a preset and asynchronous reset. We're not going to look at this right now, but it does have that feature if you want to use it. So if the input J is low and K is low on the rising edge of the clock, we shouldn't see any change. And you can see the output Q right now is one and you can see that there is no change so that is what we expect if we put K to a low and when the JK flip-flop sees the rising edge of the clock then we should get it to go low so let's check that and yeah that's exactly what we expect if we put J high and K low on the rising edge of the clock if I click this yes we do see it go to a high output on Q and if we put J as a high and K as a high we put this into toggle mode and as I keep pushing the push button to simulate the rising edge of the clock you should see the output toggle and that's in fact what we do see so a JK flip-flop can be used for many different things. We're going to take a look at an example in an upcoming video. That's it for this one. Try to bring in a JK flip-flop into CircuitVerse and try this and make sure you fully understand it before you move on. That's it for this video. We'll talk to you soon.